Now, apart from uh, natural selection, the necessity of regulation is also based on the consideration of human habit. You see, we're not using the word human nature uh, for a reason. If we use human nature, then that may imply that human nature is a bad thing. But quite the contrary, human nature is good. Remember the first two sentences of the three character classics. It says, people at birth are naturally good. Their natures are similar, but their habits made them widely different. So the first thing that we must recognize is that human nature is pure and benevolent. We uh, illustrated this, this, uh, this teaching from the Venerable Master Ching Kong's uh, teaching in Lecture 1. Uh, but in fact, all the sages' teachings is based on, uh, based on recognizing that, that uh, human nature is good. Because if it's not, teaching would become ineffective. So good teachings can turn people virtuous, because people are originally good. People are, uh, what, what, should we, uh, what should we say, rusty metal, right? Rusty metal. Now, because of his nature... A piece of rusty metal can be, you know, polished and nurtured into shiny, uh, uh, shining metal, if you like. But no matter what you do to a piece of wood, it is not going to turn into uh, metal. But the, but the reason that the pure metal becomes rusty in the first place is that it is exposed to a certain conditions. For example, moisture in the air, where iron and oxygen react, right? So, for human beings, we're all different in our personality. Now, some of us can, can let go of things quite easily, but, but some have a strong desire of things. Now, many of these differences come from experiences and the social environment that we live in, etc., etc. Now, sometimes we, we, we observe that people from different parts of the country uh, can have very different personality, not to say people from different parts of the world. From the moment that we're born, uh, you know, we start to observe everything that is happening around us. <clears throat> and, and all of these around us form part of our cognitive characteristics and, and personality, namely habit. But certain habits are like, you know, rust on metal. And sage's education is to help us to return to our inner goodness by polishing off the rusty habits. So, although people's living environments are different, of course, now one thing in common is that the society largely worships material and wealth. This goes without saying. So, in general, people crave for material satisfaction. And what is more, people find it difficult to be satisfied. I don't think it required a PhD to, to see this. Now, because the material supply is limited by nature, so in order to satisfy our desire, the strong will, uh, will have to take it from the weak. And because satisfaction has no limit, so over time, the strong will not stop uh, taking from the weak until there is nothing left uh, to take. In the um, uh, discourses in the balance, the other summarized the social problem uh, as follows. He said, as society becomes luxurious, the smart cheat the silly, the brave frighten the timid, the strong bully the weak, the many conquer the few. I guess this quote summarizes the current economic problems in a, in a fairly abstract manner. On the surface, it seems that you know, this paragraph describes a society with no policemen, with no justice system, is, is also completely barbarian. But the issue of the strong taking from the weak doesn't necessarily take the form of robbery under the, you know, broad daylight or war. Uh, it can very well be a legal one. I think as history has shown us time and time again, in the modern business world, you know, crushing your competitor to the last drop of blood can be totally within the scope of law. Crushing a country's currency leading to economic crisis 
numerous bankruptcy and uh, uh, increasing number of suicide can be nobody's problem. According to a study uh, published in the British Jour uh, Journal of Psychiatry, more than 10,000 suicides across the, uh, the US, Canada and Europe are tied to economic crisis. So if we think about the end effect, I mean, what is the difference between unethical financial conduct and gunfight? There are many good human habits, many good ones, but those we don't worry about. It is the bad ones that we worry about. Now, because such human habit can be quite devastating, there should be a check on the level of competition.